The UFC hosts some of the biggest and most popular pay-per-view events in the world, and their fighters are some of the best athletes in the world. In this video, we'll explore all the latest UFC news. From Juliana Pena's injury to Dana White's claims, watch on to stay up to date on all things UFC. Starting us off, Juliana Pena rushed to hospital after losing a big chunk of her head in horrific injury in Amanda Nunez's defeat at UFC 277. Juliana Pena, a UFC superstar, was rushed to the hospital to see a plastic surgeon after a terrible accident in which she lost a big chunk of her forehead. And that could be the end of the Venezuelan vixen's heroic MMA career. The 32-year-old Washington star fought Amanda Nunez last night at UFC 277 in Texas, but she took several terrible blows to the head, and as blood ran down her face, she looked like she was in a horror movie. And UFC boss Dana White said that as soon as her loss was confirmed by the judges after the fight went the distance, she was taken to see a doctor. White said Juliana has got a big chunk missing from her forehead. Right now, she's going to see a plastic surgeon. Then, he said it could be the end of Pena's amazing career. Last December, she shocked everyone by beating Nunez and becoming the UFC bantamweight world champion. Most people agree that Nunez is one of the best UFC fighters of all time. She showed why when she did a great job at the American Airlines Center in Dallas to regain her title as the two-weight queen. The Brazilian easily won with scores of 50-45, 50-44, and 50-43 and one of her teammates carried her out of the cage. Then, as if that wasn't enough, Nunez drank a pint of beer that she had been dying to drink. In an interview after the fight, the 34-year-old yelled, We're here to make history again. Baby, you've won twice in a row. Let's go. Next, Israel Adesanya versus Alex Pereira, official for UFC 281. The UFC will see the continuation of a rivalry that began in kickboxing. On November 12th at Madison Square Garden in New York, the main event of UFC 281 81 will be between middleweight champion Israel Adesanya and former Glory kickboxing champion Alex Pereira. The news was shared on the Friday afternoon Sports Center show on ESPN. Adesanya has never lost in MMA's middleweight division, where he has a record of 23 and 1. His only loss was at light heavyweight against Jan Blakovich, who was the champion at the time. In late 2019, the last style bender beat Robert Whitaker very badly to win UFC gold. Since then, he has successfully defended his title five five times against Yoel Romero, Paulo Costa, Marvin Vittori, Whitaker in a much closer rematch, and most recently, Jared Cannonier at UFC 276. Pereira, 6-1, lost his first mixed martial arts MMA fight in 2015. He then won a couple of fights in 2016, but didn't switch back to MMA until 2020. He got a UFC contract after he knocked out Thomas Powell at LFA 95, and it only took him three fights inside the octagon to get a shot at the title. Palatan knocked out Andreas Michalidis with a flying knee. He then won a hard-fought decision over Bruno Silva. When he quickly knocked out Sean Strickland, he became a real title threat. These two have both done kickboxing in the past. In 2016, Pereira won a close decision over Adesanya. When they fought again, Adesanya was knocked out in the third round by Pereira's famous left hook. Both fights took place as part of the Glory of Heroes event, but the third fight, which will be for Adesanya's title, will take place in the UFC. On the 29th anniversary of the first UFC show, and six years after the first UFC card at Madison Square Garden, UFC 281 takes place. Moving on, MSG sides with Jake Paul over Dana White after UFC president touts ticket sales conspiracy theory. Last week, Jake Paul's fight with Haseem Rahman Jr. was supposed to be his first fight at the historic Madison Square Garden. However, his promotion company, MVP, called off the fight. MVP said in a press release that the fight had to be called off because Rahman told Paul's team that he wasn't going to weigh in at the agreed-upon limit of 200 pounds. MVP also said that it had offered to raise the weight limit to 205 pounds, but Ramon said he would be 215 pounds. Dana White, the head of UFC, is not Paul's friend, so he didn't believe that official explanation. Instead, White said that Paul called off the fight because not enough people bought tickets. White said earlier this week, I think they sold less than a million dollars in tickets, and it cost $500,000 to turn the f***ing lights on at MSG. That's how I see it. Not to mention that hotel rooms, transportation, and everything else are all very expensive in New York. MMA Fighting called Madison Square Garden to find out if White's claim was true. The place where it happened says that White is wrong about what happened. Just to be clear, sales were good leading up to a fight. The decision to cancel was not based on sales, the MSG representative said. This fight was expected to be one of the 10 most profitable boxing matches at MSG in the last 15 years. Even though Paul's show was canceled, the MSG spokesperson said that the venue is eager to work with him again. White also made fun of Paul's business partner, Nikisa Badarian, when he 
talked about his theory about why the fight didn't happen, a former chief financial officer for the UFC. Madarian replied to White by saying that the Paul vs. Ramon event had already sold more tickets than Ryan Garcia's last fight at LA's Staples Center, and that his event was on track to be one of the top 10 gates at MSG since 2005. In other related news, Gilbert Burns says top UFC welterweights would beat the sh out of Conor McGregor. Gilbert Burns thinks it would be a mistake for Conor McGregor to come back to the UFC as a welterweight. He thinks the Notorious should stick to lightweight unless he wants to get beat up at 170 pounds. McGregor is 2-1 at welterweight with wins over Nate Diaz and Donald Cerrone. However, neither of those fighters had much success at that weight class and spent most of their careers at 155 pounds. Dorino thinks that if Conor fought one of the top five welterweights like Burns, Usman, or Khamaev, we'd just destroy Conor and that it wouldn't be fair to put him up against someone in the top five. Burns told MMA Fighting in a recent interview, he's not a welterweight, but if he wants to fight at welterweight, I'd love to beat the shit out of Connor. I don't think he'll take that punch. I'm not even going to talk about wrestling since that's not fair. I'd just take him down and beat him up, but a fight with Connor would be good for me in both ways. I'm going to beat him up and get a crazy amount of money. I don't even want the fight to happen because it's not fair. I think he weighs 55 pounds. If he weighs 170 pounds, he can't take those blows. He can't keep up with the wrestling. McGregor has gained a lot of weight in the past year. In some photos, the Irishman almost doesn't look like himself anymore. McGregor probably weighs around 190 pounds, and the head coach of SBG Ireland, John Cavanaugh, says that his best student is much bigger than he used to be. McGregor is still getting better from the broken leg he got when Dustin Poirier knocked him out last July. The former UFC featherweight and lightweight champion is expected to be back in the octagon by the end of 2022 or the beginning of 2023. He is not ranked at welterweight right now. Finally, Vulcan Uz Uzdemir versus Nikita Krylov added to UFC 280. Vulcan Uzdemir and Nikita Krylov both won at UFC London in July and are now moving on quickly. On Friday, it was announced that Uzdemir and Krylov will fight in the octagon together at UFC 280, a pay-per-view event that will take place on October 22nd at Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi. The light heavyweights were supposed to fight at UFC Fight Island 6 almost two years ago, but Uzdemir pulled out because he hurt his knee. Uzdemir got back into the win column recently when he beat Paul Craig by a unanimous decision. No Time had lost his last two fights. At UFC 251 and UFC 267, he was knocked out in the second round by Yuri Prohashka and lost by unanimous decision to Magomed Ankalaev. In his last fight, Krylov knocked out Alexander Gustafsson in 67 seconds. He then asked for Uzdemir in the press conference after the fight. I saw Volkan Uzdemir fight Paul Craig, and Uzdemir was so smart in that fight, Krylov said. And we were supposed to fight Uzdemir maybe two years ago, but he was having problems with his leg, so we didn't. And I want to fight Uzdemir. I think the best place is Abu Dhabi. I'm ready to fight in October 2022 in Abu Dhabi. At the beginning of his second time with the UFC, the minor went back and forth between wins and losses until he lost back-to-back -back fights to Ankalaev and Craig. The main event of UFC 280 is a fight for the lightweight title between Charles Oliveira and Islam Makhachev. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure to like and follow for more amazing content. Till next time, cheers!